Standing with Jack Ross here at the Paisley 2021 Stadium and uh, it's fair to say, Jack, that your players were terrific today. Yes, we um, we understood the significance of the game. Um, we've been in good form though as well and I think that continued today. Our first half performance in particular was outstanding. Um, I don't think the manner of the result flattered us in any way. Obviously, as a manager, you always pick the bones out of the last few bit of the game where we can see a couple of goals, but I can't be critical of my players who were outstanding today as they have been over the last few months. And it was interesting that the first five goal scorers, uh, none of them playing in the forward third of the pitch as strikers. So uh, the mobility of your team and the flexibility of the players within that formation was very evident today. Yeah, we, it's what I've always wanted to have here. Uh, we've got there eventually, I think, since the January window. And we picked a, a ball team today, we, but that six, if you like, you know, middle to front, the front, the midfield four and the front two, we always knew the, the mobility and flexibility they have within their own positions and, and their quality as well. And that was what we had today, the quality, but also we were ruthless today. Last week we played really well for the first 40, 45 minutes of the cup final, but we weren't ruthless. Today we were ruthless with our opportunities and um, we got our rewards for that. And it goes without saying that uh, now uh, your own destiny is in your hands, you know, you've now got to be within a point of Air United, you've got a game in hand. Uh, how much of a boost is that for you and the players? Yeah, because they need some tangible reward is at times. We've, um, the message we stressed beforehand is we've had to work incredibly hard to get to be alive and kicking at this stage of the season because a few months ago we were cut adrift, we've been written off. Um, it's been an enormous amount of hard work, but we didn't want that to go to waste. We don't want it to go to waste, so it's a case of continuing to do that on a week-to-week -week basis. We're still in the most difficult position in the league, we understand that, but there is a, a huge amount of belief and optimism within this group the group and the club, you know, that we can continue, continue to play in the manner we are. And uh, another quiet game next Saturday, you've got Dumbarton here, uh, how do you prepare for that now? Yeah, for, you know, for me as a manager, the preparation begins now, uh, in terms of we start to plan our week for the players. There is a lighter schedule, not in terms of how often they're in, but in terms of the work we do on the training pitch. But towards the end of the week, uh, preparation is consistent and how we work towards the opposition, it'll be the same. And there's a lot of things we work on that we do well and we want to continue to do well. So the players understand the significance of next week as well. The support do as well. I'm sure they'll turn out in as, as big a numbers as they did today. The numbers that came in today were outstanding for a team that's bought in the championship. And in a strange way, I look forward to it. I said that to the players before the game. These are the games as players that you should get that wee lift from, you want to be involved, and I mean, they responded in, the, in, the, in a brilliant manner. Well, it's fair to say that uh, I'll be asking if I can be here next week, so uh, all the best with your week's preparation, we'll maybe be speaking to you again this time next Saturday. Cheers, thanks, guys.